Ah, dinky do me hearties. How are we? Welcome, 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 I say. Just a quick pop-up from me, Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. Hello, me hearties, I say. Now, it's a little while since we popped up. Well, we, we, we pop up regularly, random pop-ups, of course. But uh, our Sunday night's very, very important and lovely to have you with us. And I hope you're enjoying the streams and you let everybody know what is what. There's Lindsay watching. There's Bachetti watching. Dinky-doo, Peter Garvin. Dinky-doo, lovely to have you with us, of course. Stephen Phillips, excellent. Welcome, I say. Trish McLaren, hi there. Hello, Trish. Rob Randall, excellent, Rob. Dinky-doo, Moira, Chico's mum. Dinky-doo, Ian Kerr, lovely to have you with us. Dinky-doo, Gary Crossan. Hello, Scotty, good to see you. Gordon Roddick's watching. Dinky-doo, hello, sir, says Lindsay. Hello, and uh, who are so many people joining us. This is wonderful. I lost you for a second there with a pop-up ad. Uh, good evening, Scotty. This is big. Hello, good evening, Scotty. This is Cameron Erich. Lovely to have you all with us. Welcome, 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 I say, to Scotty McClue's pop-up. Now, there's a difference tonight. I have the Skype here. If you want to come on and have a chat there, Regan, dinky do Regan. Lovely to have you with us as well. And you're watching Scotty McClue. I'm just fresh from broadcasting live on YouTube. So there we are, a tremendous setup there tonight. But I also have the Skype, if you want to talk to me, scotty.mcclue. There's the wonderful Alan McGee. When are you back on radio? Um, don't know, we're talking to them a lot, Alan, at the moment. So big things out there and lots and lots to tell you. Spread the word, share and share and share. Tell 10 to tell 10. There's Scotty McClue has popped up live on Facebook. Just for you, Dinky Do. There's Danny Joe and Willie Drysdale. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us. So I've got the Skype here. So if you want to talk to me on Skype, you would be very, very welcome. Scotty Dot McClue. Alex Robertson, one of our finest actors. Dinky Do. Scotty, what do you think of Brexit? I think it's a complete and utter piece of nonsense, to be quite honest with you. But I do have a great subject for you tonight. Um, and I think that we'll have to look at how do we rejoin the EU at some point. Hello, Scotty. He didn't do to you, my good friend. I mean, think about it. Why would you leave a market of 28 countries and 510 million people? Why would you pull four countries out of it, three against their will? Good evening, Scott. This is Alex Robertson. Dinky do, Alex. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, what I'd like to discuss tonight, do you think vegetarians and vegans are um, creating more methane? So there we are. Paul Sefton, Dinky Doo, good evening to you. Lovely to have you with us. So many great people watching tonight. Share and share and share, guys, because I want everybody to know we're on. Uh, and we've got the Skype, so we're actually back to Scotty McClue's Nightline live here on Facebook Live. So if you'd like to Skype in, feel free to do so. I would love to hear from you, and we can have a chat and get the calls going again, because... I appreciate that you see me popping up. You think, oh, it gets a little bit samey because he's reading out names and what have you. But this changes the whole landscape, guys. This is us back to basic starting again with the phone in. So if you want to call in and you want to have a chat with me live on Facebook Live, feel free to do so. Scotty Dot McClue, there's Stephen Lipton, Randall Taylor, and Callum Wilson. John Hepburn, lovely to have you all with us. This is excellent. Now I'm just getting everything up on the other devices so that we're there for you. And as I say, if you want to come and join us on Skype, just you press on la. Not a problem at all. Uh, Danny Joe, Dinky Do, lovely to have you with us. It's Scotty McClue here, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster. We know about that. Thank you for putting up with so many things. Are you on, says Gordon Riley? I am Gordon. Can you not hear me or see me? Very important. Do decide. Can you hear and see me? Can everybody hear and see me? Excellent stuff. There we are. And uh, is that better? 
Can everybody hear us and see us? Gordon Rayleigh Singh, is this live? Of course it's live. Absolutely, Gordon. Drew Carlson's joined us. Dinky doo, why would it not be live, Gordon? Come along. My goodness me, we're on Facebook Live. Why would it not be live? I ask you. Scotty McClure with you, of course. Quick pop-up on a Sunday just to see how we are. The vegans, says Danny Joe. Uh, definitely can. You can hear me. Can everybody hear me? And can everybody see me? Um, you know, do send us a little message, of course, and share and share and share to let everybody know that we're on live. I'm just going to do a little bit of sharing now, guys, just to let people know what's going on and to come and join us loud and clear. Yes, could you hear us from the start? Have you been dumped off the radio, says Gordon Riley. Yes, Gordon, they wanted to put on love songs. And I take no pleasure in the fact that I've just heard that there was a huge drop in audience. So there you go. Um, nothing I can do about that, of course. Um, if a station doesn't want you, they don't want you. It's not a problem either way. Um, Lorraine Quinn, Dinky Doo. Yes, you can hear me. Thank you. Louise Arrell, watching now. Dinky Doo. Everybody's watching. Fantastic. Wonderful Alistair King, one of our top motor engineers, is watching. Dinky Doo, Alistair. David Diston's watching. Uh, Shona McLean. Danny Joe. Yes. Hi, Scotty. Dinky Doo, says Alistair. Hi, Alistair. You're an absolute top man. The picture and sound are perfect, says the wonderful Gordon Roddick, a man who's spent, oh, Gordon, I wouldn't like to say how many years in television and radio. There's somebody calling the Golden Shot. Hello, Johnny. Ding, ding, ding. Hello. Hey, Scotty. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, fantastic. There we are. Poor soul got too excited when he actually got on. The wonderful Alan Brown's watching in Washington, D.C. Share and share and share, everybody. I'm just about to do some sharing right now. Let everybody know that we are there. I'll share to the Scotty McClue page. Dinky do, Alan Brown. How are things in Washington, D.C.? Why don't you Skype me and we can have a chat live on this Facebook Live? Trying to call you, says you're not on Skype, Amanda Jean Sinclair. What nonsense. Scotty dot McClue. Did you forget the dot, Amanda Jean? I ask you, did you forget the dot? Very important. Alan Brown, you need to Skype me so that I can hear how are things in America. So there are, OMG, that's terrible, says Gordon. Uh, so there we are. Rab Hill's watching, Dinky Doo Rab. Lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome. Neil O'Gormley, Dinky Doo Neil. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Stephen Mooney, good to hear from you as well. I'm just going to put live now and share this, and then that will get round, and we can let everybody... Come and join us. So there we are. Wonderful Jim Heron's watching. Dinky Doo. Lee Peter is watching. Patrick Lynn. Dinky Doo. Welcome, 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 I say. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue live on Facebook Live just for you right new, as we would say. Write the new. Excellent. I'm in, says Alan. Fantastic. Now, give us a call, Alan. Scotty dot McClue on Skype. Uh, terrible weather, Scotty. I'm off to Spain on Tuesday, says uh, Lorraine Quinn. Oh, my goodness. Please, please be careful. It's a wild, wild night. Richie McCusker's watching. Dinky do, Rab Hill says. All right, Scotty. You phone me. Lol. So there we are. So there's been huge changes over the last week, guys. And it's just to say we are now back in business. If you thought the Scotty McClue pop-ups were getting a bit samey, your life just got better. Your weekends just got better. The world just got better because we can talk. And I'm wanting interesting, clever people coming on. Waiting for you to accept my friend's invitation on Skype. Hang on then. Let's have a look and see what I have to do here, Amanda. 
So there we go. Have I got to accept your friend invitation? There's lots of chats coming up. I shall see what we've missed. Just bear with me. If we can get you on, then we are laughing, I say. So what have I to do? Yes, that's that. You can do group calls and everything on here. Um, what's the first bit of your handle, Amanda Jean? Tell me what the first bit of your handle is. And then I can see, invite friends, just a sec, invite your friends to Skype, so we can do all that. Facebook, there we are, wonderful, that's, I think that's for a little bit later, that one. Can you shout out to Alan Semple, the truck driver, said Lorraine, of course I can. So, Amanda Jean, what I would do is just give me a call live on Skype, and we should uh, be able to get a hold of you there. I don't think that is a problem. Excellent stuff. Uh, now, when you're coming on, if you're just some wee dafty thinking you'll say something silly, don't bother, because we'll just edit that out, and then it's a lifetime ban, and you'll never, ever get to hear Scotty McClure again. How do you phone? You have Skype. Have you got Skype, Rab, on your phone or your tablet? And then uh, all you do is put in scotty.mcclue and press call. And there we are. Fantastic. So that's uh, that's what's going on. Yes, it says I'm active. So there we are. We're active. A little bit more sharing. Everybody, share to group. Watch together. And uh, what's going on here? Ah, yes. Oh. Hello, who's that? Hello. Hello. Is Hello, that... good evening, it's Amanda. How are you? Amanda, that is absolutely fantastic and dinky do. Dinky do. Yeah, How wonderful. Nice to get to talk to you. You get to talk to Scotty McClue live on Facebook Live. That is just wonderful. Whoa. <laughs> and what now, I think a very serious question yes. for you, Scotty. Go on, Amanda, yes. Okay, now on a, on a scotch pie, you know the yes, scotch, scotch pie, pie with a hole in the middle? A wee hole in the middle. Do you yes. Do okay. you prefer beans or peas? Ooh, now that's a difficult one because I'll tell you, have you heard of McClue's pies? No, I haven't. No. Right. Well, you see, McClure's pies always say I to a McClure's pie. And I had a brilliant idea that um, we, we give out the pies with peas or beans, and that's your choice. Now, the local baker, I won't mention their name on here, of course, but our local baker used to do what they called a savoury pie, and it oh. uh, it had the uh, the meat in it, and then it had beans and piped mashed potato. Oh, I think I remember seeing that uh -huh. years ago. Yeah, a savoury pie, oh. so you could have a wee savoury no. pie, but you had to sit yeah. down and eat it at the table, or you'd get beans yeah. all down your front. Yeah, you'd need a knife and fork for that. But that sounds like an exciting pie. It's rather good. It's wonderful Ooh. stuff. So, that was, so I think we also did a vegetarian lattice slice in a rich chicken sauce. Ooh. Ooh. Vegetarian with a chicken sauce. <laughs> do you like that one? Is, ch is chicken sauce allowed for vegetarians? Do, do you see what I just did there? Vegetarian <laughs> lattice slice in a rich chicken sauce. Very nice. Oh, that's... Now, do you know that you're making broadcasting history, Amanda? Oh, no, but I'm excited by well, that as yes, well. Yes, it's yeah. wonderful. Really you're making broadcasting stuff. history. What I've been doing for about the last three or four years, we've been live on Facebook Live. And it yes, has been a I've tremendous been success. Millions have watched us. And um, mm -hmm. now, uh, because I didn't want it to just people say, oh, God, but it's all kind of the same, you know, he, he talks the same and he reads out the names and blah, blah, blah. And I thought we need to add the calls to this program. Yes. So Absolutely. now you are our first proper sensible caller. Fantastic. We've had wonderful but you colours. still haven't told me if you yes. prefer these are beans on your well, pie. I think I'm a peas man, actually. Oh, are you right? Okay. Yes, I quite like my peas. Right. And okay. I like Brussels sprouts as well. 
Oh my goodness! All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you see, that's quite interesting. That somebody say here's Graham saying, "Have you ever tried a Scotch pie with a bit of haggis on top?" Oh no, no. Uh -huh. oh. And then here's Gordon saying, "Gravy." Gravy. Oh, gravy. So yeah, he's a gravy man. Gravy. It's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Scotty, well, Amanda, did you do? That was an absolute joy. Take care of yourself. You're going to Spain this week. Not me. That wasn't me. That wasn't no. you. I'll, that wasn't you. I'll be staying at home this oh, week. Oh, very, very wise. Lovely to okay. talk to you. Dinky doo. Dinky doo. Dinky doo. <laughs> Dinky doo. There we are. <laughs> How fantastic is that? That's Amanda. Scotty, thank God you're back, says Robert T. Kerr. Dinky doo, Robert T. Kerr. Wonderful stuff. Angel Sneddon's watching. And Stephen McFarlane. Stephen McFarlane, I thought you were very funny earlier. I have to say, oh, there we are. Yes, Hello, good evening. Who's this calling? It's Mr. Pablo Buddy. Ah, oh, Pablo, excellent. Welcome to our Facebook Live. Hey, I had to come back on, Scotty, because I know you're doing that meat vegan thing. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm quite interested in this. I'm, I'm quite uh, experienced in it. We've growing up with a family of vegetarians and, and meat eaters. There's Paul so, yeah, Sefton. There's Paul Sefton saying. Um, there's Angel saying, oh my God, it's your good self. I caught you live. Haggis, <laughs> sausage rolls are the future, says Paul Sefton. <laughs> Amanda Jane saying, woohoo, good call. And uh, GM says, good evening, Scotty. So it's wonderful that people have actually arrived. I'm just going to have to share this right now. Yeah, I'm just doing a bit of sharing. And um, get that on. Scotty McClure. Wonderful. There's so many on here. It's, uh, what do you do? I'll just put live now. You carry on. What were you saying, Pablo? We can... Yeah, no, so I, I grew up with two sisters who were very fussy. I was a fussy eater. At one point, I thought I was a vegetarian. But, um, yeah, my sisters were very... They, they were a vegetarian because they didn't like the death and slaughter of animals. No, um, no, right, fair enough. Right, and then you've got the other people that want to save the planet because it costs a lot of money. Well, not money natural resources to make meats. Yes, so I'll show you from Guy. Scotty, I'll show you the link when I can. Yeah. But he's a scientific man and he says it costs lots lots of water and natural resources to make meat. If we all ate fruits and vegetables, we'd live longer, we'd have less diseases and we wouldn't kill all these animals. He said if people walk past the slaughterhouse with a window in it, I guarantee you no one would eat meat. Yeah, well, well, that's an interesting one, that. But I don't, I don't want to put everyone off because the Save the Planet, the vegetarians and the vegans apparently produce more methane. So they might yeah, actually yeah. be adding to the global warming. Mm. You see, so they're all that they're saving the planet, but they might be adding yeah. to the global warming. Yeah, so I, well, ah. I, think, I think, you know, different emissions, car emissions and... Whatever we do, I think that's got to be worse than me, thing. Sure. Yes, yes, but we'll have to have uh, we'll have to monitor all this. It's very, very interesting. Pablo, it's such a joy to talk to you. And no uh, worries, Scott. Thanks for ringing in, and we'll catch up again soon. Eight and laters. Dinky do la laters. What a top man. So there you are, fantastic. Do you like guys that were able to take the calls on the live stream? Tell us what you think. Give me some feedback. That's what it's all about. It is interesting, says Angel. Dinky do. Freedom, Scottish independence, says Robert. <laughs> Wonderful freedom. All shouting. The ones I find are the idiots that go. Oh, sir, you're wanting independence from Westminster, but not from Europe. Huh, that's some independence. I don't think they know their history. I think that's the problem. John Gallagher's watching Dinky Doo. Yes, but a Scotch pie would not be the same, says Gordon Riley. Wow, Scotty's live. So glad you're in. Yay. Barry McCorkendale. Or Barry Corkendale, I beg your pardon. Barry Corkendale, lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo. Uh, we're sharing like mad here, folks. So, um... 
don't worry if I have to dash along and just click, click, clickety click. If you can do the same, if you can all share and just put Scotty McClure live new, then uh, that's wonderful stuff. And thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you that have been uh, sending all the stuff round, supporting me over the years. I know you sometimes might say he's a bit of a pain in the bahook. He sends stuff through all the time with some guy complaining this week going, oh, this is not the way to do it. All that kind of nonsense. And you think, where are these people coming from? Where do they get off? Evening, Scotty. I've told 10. Absolutely. And hey, Scotty. Now, can every single one of you also go on to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel, subscribe and tap the bell, and it'll let you know when we're live. Because we've already got an incredible following, and we've only been on about four times this week live. It's great to have the call, Scotty, says Ian Stewart. Hey, Scotty, says Teeny Dowling. Dinky doo, Teeny. And Dave has told 10 to tell 10. Thank you. I'm just sending this round live now. Excellent. And we'll get that round the old, uh, the old, um, Facebook Live, there it goes, wonderful stuff. Sure will, says Lorraine, fantastic. Thank you to every single one of you who sent in lovely little bits of pennies because that helps with advertising, it helps to buy equipment for the show, all that sort of stuff, and we're growing and growing and growing all the time. So there we are, wonderful. I mean, many millions have now seen the pop-up since we started about four years ago. And I'm just glad we've got the calls back as well. So if you'd like to come on, it's Skype, scotty.mcclue. Pop on and uh, I can take your call. And we can see what is what. So there we are. Sure will, says Lorraine. Thank you very much for that. Because there's 600 videos and audio sitting there with some great stuff off the shows. There's the wonderful Jim Thompson. Thank you, do, Jim. I hope you're well. Scotty McClure says hi to every single one of you. Excellent stuff. And um, I want to know how your week's going. How are you coping with the storm? Hurricane Kira. Is it Storm Kira or Hurricane Kira? I'm never sure. Hi, mate. This is Charlie Morgan. Hi, Charlie. Thank you, dear. Uh, nice hat. Very cool. This is Dominic Hill. I thank you, Dom. Very, very kind of you. So there we are. Sharing, sharing all the time, guys. Wonderful stuff. Just let everybody know what is what. And uh, if we do that, we used to do four shares a night to select every day. Please shout out my business, Apex Detailing, says Charlie Morgan. Christopher loves watching. Dinky do, Christopher. Lovely to have you with us. Why don't you combine the YouTube and Facebook Live together now, and then it would spread the word further. Now, Alistair, I think you can do that, but I think you have to do it through a third party if you're live streaming on different platforms. Blair Nelson's watching Dinky Doo, and Christopher Love says, Good evening, Scotty. Good evening, Christopher. Fantastic. One of our subjects for discussion tonight is vegetarianism and veganism. Are vegetarians and vegans contributing a higher carbon footprint because there's more uh, methane coming out of them. Uh, how's the fox, Scotty? Says the wonderful Erica Mayer in Australia. Fantastic. I haven't seen the fox for a wee while, Erica, but I'll tell you what I did see, and I think you saw it as well. On social media, a vixen in Australia, Australia, fair dinkum, fair dinky do, a vixen in Australia feeding Koala cubs from the bushfires. I thought that was wonderful. Happy to inform you I finally have my book published on Amazon. Ebook and paperback, not advertising, just letting you know, Nilo Gormley. That's fantastic. We don't mind. We like your book. McClure's writing a thriller. You'll get chapter one on YouTube. Deliver us from evil. So there we are. See what you think. Wonder if Mr. and Mrs. Mac are watching. Big hello. If they are, yes. You look well, Scotty. Nice to see you. I thank you very much. I'm remarkable for my age. Andrew Boyle's watching. Dinky do, Andrew. Lovely to have you with us. Um, it's bad here up north, the River Irwell. It's Banks Bust and Agecroft Cemetery was nearly underwater again. El Salvador, Stalion, Saviour, 
That is not good news. The oh well, I remember it from my youth living in Manchester. Fantastic. Hello, Alex. Oh my God, how are you, love? How are you, Alex? Think you do. Welcome to the program. Oh my God, we've got so much to talk about. Love it. I don't know where to start. Now, folks, Alex is one of our top entertainers, so it's lovely to hear from him. Based in the, well, mid- I, the you're in the Midlands, aren't you, Alex? I'm in Nottingham, yes. Yeah, Nottingham, it's been man. so windy today. I came over Trent Bridge earlier and I nearly got sucked off. It was terrible. Oh, oh as bad as God. that. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry to hear that. Has it's... anything ever happened to you similar in maybe Blackpool or Skegness or somewhere like that? Well, they're all windy cities, as we say. You know what I mean? <laughs> and if you've just blown in yes. from the windy city... Yeah. <laughs> Are you windy this evening? Or um, well, you? we're quite windy this evening. We're discussing veganism and vegetarianism, and we think they're actually contributing more to uh, the global warming. Mm. The thing is, you know, did you know vegan is Latin for lousy hunter? It's, uh, it's sad, really, isn't it? I feel sorry for these people. I mean, they're mostly miserable, aren't they? Let's be honest. And they don't generally have a big personality. And all they've got is a carrot. Yes, you know yes, what I mean? yes, carrot. I'm a bit sorry for them. Well, and I you think don't know what to do. they do Throw look a bit a pale. They look a bit pale, don't they? Well, they're going to be, aren't they? I mean, if you eat lettuce leaf, let's, let's think of things that eat lettuce leaves. Rabbits. Yes, yes. And they're quite ponderous, really. I mean, yes. when they're not in season, they just sort of mince around the lawn yeah. and then go to sleep, you know. I mean, I'd never hire a vegan. You know, I know we can't discriminate in 2020, no, but never, never hire a vegan because they're quite righteous. You see, it's the sanctimony I can't ah, understand. Ah, there's people. a bit of sanctimonious, is there? Oh, supercilious is their middle name, but they can't spell it. Right, all right. So sometimes, so you think that vegans and vegetarians can be a little bit full of themselves. Well, of course they are, you see. They're trying to say to us that they're better than us because they know more. That's what it is, you see. They're, they've got this thing about them that, oh, well, you know, I wouldn't dream putting that in my mouth. And I think to myself, well, it's all right, love. You stick in your mouth what you want, and I'll put in me God what I want. Yes, absolutely, absolutely, you know. Yes, yes, fair. Very fair point, Alex. And how's life with you? Well, I'm delicious. You know that. I mean, you know, very lucky. I never get up before half past ten. But this morning is my breakfast show. Shall we talk about Philip Schofield and this whole no, beautiful no, no, victimization no, no, of the world? No, we're not talking about that. We're not talking about that. <laughs> no, we're not yes, talking about this that. Is what, this, is the, this is the thing about 2020. You see, he's the same. He's another one like vegans. They're all the victims. You see, everybody wants to make out they're worse off than you. And that's the problem with 2020, you see. In our day, we used to shove a burger in a gob and go to work, keep them out, shut 10 hours later, come home, and then repeat for five days. Now, you see, you say, oh, no, I have to have three days off because I've got no energy because I only eat carrots. Yes, you see, yes that's, that's the right. problem. Ah, we yes. need to get rid of the vegans. They're, they're, they're worse than vegetarians. They really are. Well, get rid of the supercilious, see. Don't try and tell other people what to do. Well, that's right, and these people, you know, that because I don't run, I don't run clever. about There's some twenty-five pounds on a bottle of wine. You see, yes, yes, interesting. You know. Oh, I've never spent that in my life. <laughs> Oh, you won't. I bet you've often had your nose in Jacob's Creek. No, never, dear. <laughs> Listen, no, lovely no, to hear no, you. No. <laughs> Off we pop. No. So there we are, the wonderful Alex, uh, top entertainer, and great to hear him on here as well, of course. But no, I do want to discuss all these newsy stories because I want to talk about what we talk about on here live. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're uh, watching Scotty McClue, and we are live, so there we are. Um, what have we got here? Must research about that. Didn't know vegans were causing methane, says Angel. Yes, yes, it made the major peppers. Uh, excellent front pages. Severe flooding in the Ribble Valley, says the wonderful Susan Forrest down in Lancashire. Paul Sefton, is the methane subject a joke? Um, no, Paul Sefton, no, 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 we're discussing it. Um, you know, it's not a joke. I mean, they do, they, they do windy pops. Uh, you know, but no, no, it's not a joke. No, heavens above. Hello, Angelo. I had to ring back then, Scotty, mate. I had to ring back after that call. Yes. Right, let's get into topic now. Let's get a serious, well, 
Yes. Right? You said that. Oh, he said that. Don't eat meat with pain. That's wrong. That. Um, I can understand that uh, vitamin deficiencies might come into place, but you can still get all your right nutrition vitamins if you eat correct foods, whether it's plant based, nut based, or meat based. Um, so, but they do. You've got spot. to admit, no, 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 a lot of them do look rather pale. They do, but that's if they're just, say for instance, eating warm nutrition. So, say watermelon, it's the best purified water you can possibly have. It's better than getting it from a mountain. The skin can't get penetrated, right? Wow. So you have to know what you do. Yeah, you need to know what you're doing when you're going to be a vegan. Right, right. So you have to have an idea. So what actually, how would you define, are you vegan, may I ask? No, I'm not a vegan. I've, uh, There's I'm Alexander. A Alexander's saying vegan sausage rolls are nice. No, 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 no. There's a lot of things that are going, going about at the moment. So yeah. I encourage, I don't know, to try this, to try that, but each to their own, Scott. Ah. To the point. Let's, talk, let's talk about serious matter. Yes, right. serious matter. One thing, one, thing, one thing we always spoke about is meat on the digestive system, yeah? Yeah. Humans, humans don't have a digestive system of a lion, right? We're not supposed to eat countless amounts of meat. If you remember years ago, you would have a beef on a Sunday or a chicken roast dinner. You wouldn't eat meat every day. Mm -hmm. We've turned into a meat society where we're eating it every day. So it is day. cancerous. So it you... is cancerous. But if we eat too much, it's an impact on the digestive system, mm -hmm. such as bowel cancer or things like that. We eat too yeah, much but we don't day. know what's causing that. I mean, they do blame red meat stuff, but we don't know what's causing that. So we can't... You don't simply, think so, well, well, we can't make claims till we're sure. Like, we now know, and it's, it's hardly... Um, you know, mm. been a secret for years now that cigarette mm. smoking causes lung cancer because you're taking maybe 150, 200 toxins into your mm. alveoli, your little air sacs that are meant mm. for reoxygenating your body and your blood. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with putting anything like that. It's so, got to so, to so we know that, months. and we know that drugs you know like, like uh, you know, we know that drugs are going to kill people. You know, yeah. heroin, cocaine, deaths all the time from it. Um, you know, so, so we know that's what right. we can't. Right. We can't just yeah. uh, have a blanket blame on something like meat. Because we need to be a thousand, say, well, well millions, digest, millions of years. Ah, well, but you see now, I had an appendectomy in nineteen sixty nine. Mm -hmm. So I've got no appendix, right? I have no appendix, right. as the old uh, the old Scotty uh, rap goes, yeah. And mm -hmm. I yeah. think quite often um, that th people say, "Well, the appendix didn't really do anything." I don't believe anything in the body does nothing. So I would say that yeah. the appendix yeah, okay. is probably from the days when we ate a lot more vegetable matter. We ate grass and things mm -hmm. like that. You know, right. and and that's my kind of feeling about it. And if you don't have an appendix, then yeah. there's every chance that um, you know you won't be very good at digesting properly the vegetables and the salads. Well, it's very true, that Scotty, because um, talking about appendix, uh, my partner as a home IV nurse who comes out, she told me a story about a woman. She said she had an appendix removed. And then when she was eating certain things like cheese, it was making like a spider's west web around the where the appendix used to be, right. causing digestive problems. So right. I think you're right there. I think you're so I, the I think there's definitely a connection. And I remember when yeah. I was doing my sort of Earthman when I lived in the country, and I used to um, to eat that. I wonder in the days when we used to probably do that we sample things you know because there's yeah, definitely right. a lot of wisdom in the plant life and the mushrooms oh, and the fungi yeah, the and all that well, you know? you've got to think here Scotty, mate, as well we're eating food what are we eating food for energy but we're not only eating it for energy food for the brain brain so what you eat will have an impact on how you operate mentally and physically mate. And when you look at a more plant-based diet or say nuts because what, what's happened in the last, say, 10 years, yeah? yeah. We've become self-conscious of how we look. 
right? Oh, yeah, so the swimming pants are. Yeah, two of, them throw, two of them throw a bunch of steroids in, in them, go to the gym and look fantastic on the outside. Yeah. Internally, they're doing damage to themselves. Yeah, I mean, if I if I went for a job in television now, they'd probably say, well, you'd, you'd need to lose weight. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. the, the, that sort of thing, they come out with that, you think, well, hang on a minute, you know, most of our viewers are twice the size of me. Exactly, they don't get off the sofa, <laughs> that's why they want you metal. Yes, no. like, what, what, yeah, what I'm trying to say before I go is, when I'm talking about um, the, the vegans look pale, what you got to remember, when you're eating meat, what are you getting? You're getting high quantities of protein, yeah? Yes. So you can get the protein through nuts, Brazilian nuts, um, pistachio nuts. Uh, but you're getting seeds, as much protein, protein as you would get from, say, a nice, uh, you know, lean steak. Yeah, you'd be, you'd be surprised, Scotty, mate. You'd be surprised. A handful of soup and nuts, right? A handful of nuts instead of a steak. So the next time I go into a restaurant, if somebody right. gets me out for dinner, <laughs> they'll say... Um, they say, can I get you a steak, sir? I say, no, just a handful of nuts for me, thanks. <laughs> yeah, but this is quite, it's very true, mate. Just it's, a handful of um, pistachios. <laughs> that, you listen to me, go and look on a packet of peanuts, right? Just yeah. a packet of peanuts. And, and look at the protein content, and then look at the protein content on a piece of steak, right? Right. And, do, uh, do, you th- do you think this is where? Do you think this is where we've got, um, you know, peanut butter? A great taste for peanut butter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a very good source of protein. It doesn't taste nice, but there's great fats in it. Scott, if people don't realise when we eat meat, we get it for sources of protein our red blood cells and other things such as um, fats. But we can get them all, all the other stuff such as. You know, plant-based foods, nuts. Look at look at gorillas, Scott. Yeah. Like what the gorillas? What the gorillas eat? Yeah, and, and I mean, you know, the the silverbacks are pretty strong, aren't yeah. they? I mean, you know, it's strong. And all they eat all day is banana, banana, banana. Yeah, I, I, I might do that, you know, but I don't want to grow hair all over everywhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? You bit too, you bit too long to do the suit to try to just buy me one of them now, Scott. You should have done that in your heyday. Listen, I better dash. This is my heyday. I'm just coming yeah. into my heyday. Thank you for the chat. I hope you've uh, enlightened you there with some You've always, you you always enlightened us. <laughs> you're, you're a top man. <laughs> Dinky doola. <laughs> there we are. From Manchester. Pablo there, ringing in. Calvin Allen's watching. Tony Mac, good evening, Scotty. Partly having breakfast isn't good for us either. Have you told everybody? Tell 10 to tell 10. Same, I have no appendix as care. Uh, the, do you have a scar? Huge scar. Yeah, because it was uh, quite dangerous. So there we go. Excellent stuff. And Jay, comments not good. We'll delete your comment, but we won't block you just now. And uh, that sort of stuff. Share, 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 folks. Can everybody share right now? A massive sharing. Yes. We've got about another uh, 10 minutes or something like that. So a massive sharing would be fantastic. And uh, good to have Tony on. Excellent. Thanks for the hearts. Can everybody give us some hearts? Did you do? Hearts, hearts, hearts. Uh, we need to meet. We need meat in our diet. We are carnivores. Every last one of us. Like it or not, says Alistair King. Hello, Alan Brown. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Alan Brown from Washington, D.C. How are you? I am, you've got the bad fellow. I am 40th from Washington, D.C. What a big suburbs. How of fantastic. Lovely, lovely to hear you. How are things? Things are going well, sir. Yes. Um, now, I'm missing Scotland so much. Of I'm, course. I'm listening to you show and realizing that um, Scotland needs to be represented by someone like yourself. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And somebody like yourself. Now, I believe we've just had Robert Burns commemoration, and you're a great Burns yeah. man. Now, I I, 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 I believe that you from. deliver the toast to the haggis, the address to the haggis. 
Yes, I do so. And you do it outstandingly well. Yes, and if you remember rightly, sir, I had to call upon you to give me a little bit of dress code. Oh, yes. Definitely the big silver buckle belt. Did you wear that? Yeah, it did. You I did. I took your advice through the cummerbund into the trash can. Absolutely, yes. You don't need that. No, no. The big belt always, even with the... Were you wearing the Prince Charlie or were you wearing the doublet? Oh, I was wearing the Prince Charlie this oh, time. Lovely, very, very smart. You would look the part. And, of course, the problem I notice, a lot of people get married wearing kilts, and the kilts are too long. And you'll be way ahead of that. You'll never have too long a kilt. It should just touch the floor when you kneel down straight. I was just about to say the very same thing, Scotty. Ooh. You've got it exactly right. Absolutely. And, and and you look very smart. I've seen you on Facebook. And what I was going to say I'm, to you... You, you and your uniform as well. I've seen you with your your jury hat as well and your, uh, your, in your finery. Yes, yes, when I get kilted up there. Now, what I was going to say, ask you, Alan, am I not right in thinking you're also a bagpiper? Ooh, no, yes, I I can play them. I haven't practiced in a while. Yes. But I can play them. Wonderful. Now, I think that will be very, very popular in Washington, D.C. Oh, yes. Um, I, unfortunately, I've tried busking, and um, I got moved along because I didn't have a proper license. <laughs> and it's very frightening when you see a policeman with a real big gun yeah, sitting gun, in his yes, box. Yes, asking you to move along. <laughs> for, <laughs> for playing the bagpipes. Fantastic. Now, what I was going to say to you is like when I was, uh, I burst into tears one day and a policeman said, I could arrest you. I said, what for, for crying out loud? <laughs> to see what I just did there. Wonderful stuff. Yes. So, yes, absolutely, Alan. And um, what are you hearing over in America there? You've got Mr. Trump. What are you hearing coming out of Scotland these days? Have you heard about Brexit and everything? Oh, yes. I mean, I, I, I'm ready to renew my passport. Excellent. And I'm wondering what I should do. Ah, wonderful. This stuff. Yes. I'm with you. To, I, I think Scotland should be part of Europe. I think so, and yes. Well, we always North have been. Part of Washington. Yes. West yes, we are big for trading as well. So we'll see what happens because there's obviously a lot of uh, communication going on between Westminster and America. Uh-huh. You know, so... Uh, I would um, <laughs> go on, go on. I, you know, we get the cartoons about him being, uh, with Johnson being the, the lap dog of, of oh, yes. the orange monster. Of, 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 of the Donald, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Fantastic. Alan, such a joy to hear from you. It's lovely hearing your voice, Scotty. Yes. You know you can tell me whenever you need people to support your stuff. Wonderful. And love to you and your lovely family. And dinky-doo. Dinky-doo, sir. Good dinky night. Do. Good night. God bless you. There's uh, wonderful Alan Brown uh, in Washington, D.C. How fantastic is that? Absolutely amazing. Now, guys, feedback, please. Do you like the, the calls? Uh, so Alice King says we need meat in our diet. Yes, meat's needed, says Alexander. Um, Junior says good night, Scotty, says Alistair King. Good night, Junior. Dinky do. Off to bubbles. And uh, what happens if you have are allergic to nuts? Excellent. Uh, Sai Kai Tang, how do you call in? Scotty Dot McClue on Skype. Good night, Junior. So there we are. Fantastic. Thanks, James. Um, Marion McKnight. Hi, Angel, says John Brown. Hello, Rocco, says Reese Kirk. Uh, Philip is... Uh, Who's here? Wait, well, uh, 
I don't know what who that is. So there we are. I'll just pop that out. Uh, the Haggis Man, well done to you. Lovely stuff, says Angel. Rim of Pursuity is watching Dinky Doo, Dominic McIntyre. Lovely to have you with us. Love Alan's accent, says Angel. Beautiful voice, isn't it? And you should hear him doing the address to the Haggis, uh, to um, all these wonderful places in Washington, D.C. Wow, Washington, this is fabulous. Loving the phone calls. Um, Angel's there. We definitely need to eat meat as it's full of iron, which helps our immune system. We need to keep strong and healthy so there you go folks strong and healthy absolutely incredible wonderful stuff and uh, if you've just joined us by the way a very very warm welcome if you're wondering what on earth's going on you're watching scotty mcclue the world's top broadcaster the first lord of the internet we're live on facebook live we're also doing a lot of pop-ups on youtube so scotty mcclue has a youtube channel scotty mcclue's youtube channel www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash scotty McClue one. I'm also live on TikTok, so get on there at Scotty McClue. Instagram, we'd like one million followers, but subscribe, please. Yes, a lovely voice. Um, who, who, Scotty McClue on your sale? So we are. Thank you, John Duncan. Thank you, do. Uh, Rob Halpin, Scotty McClue. Excellent stuff. Thank you very much for that. So there you are. Um, now, if you want to pop on, do you like the call-in? Do you like the Skype? Do tell us. Scott Grant's watching. Dinky do, Scott. Lovely to have you with us. Can we all have another massive share, please? All right. So a massive, massive share. There we are. Let's get that on there. Live on Facebook. Um so I'll just share to the story as well. Let everybody know that we're live now. One and only Scotty McClue, if you ain't tuned in, you're clueless. Literally, says Angel. Thank you, Angel. Absolutely right as well. Right and proper. Here we are. That's been shared to the story. We like that. A little bit more sharing going on. Sorry if I'm popping over. I've got several devices surrounding me here. Um, so we're just... Uh, Having a right good share to all the different places. Um, I'm trying to get to share in the group. We'll see what comes up there. Uh, we should have that by now. Hello, Scotty. How are you this evening? Says Scott Grant. Dinky do. Hi, sir. Says Natasha. Dinky do, Natasha. Louise Gemmel is watching. Hello, Louise. Fantastic. And can everybody tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue? Live on Facebook Live just for you. Nine o'clock sharp on a Sunday night. We sometimes do eight o'clock as well. Um, but tonight we did uh, seven till eight on the YouTube channel. So you should see that there. Rob says, what team do you support? Well, always the winning team, Rob. Right, there we are. I will support the winners. I grew up listening to your phone in. Legend, says John Duncan. Fantastic. Share, folks, says Angel. Share, 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 everybody. Ben Lucas, Dinky Do. See you next week, says Natasha. Absolutely, and Dinky Do. So there we are. We'll be finishing up in a few minutes, guys. I can't believe it has just flown in. Time flies when you're having fun. Um, I hope you like the, the phone in. I hope this is a rejuvenation of the uh, of the program because, as I say, we've been doing it now for about four years. I didn't want it um, getting to the stage that people were saying, oh, that's a wee bit samey. It's kind of all the same names and all that. We don't want that. We want to expand and expand and expand. So I need your help for that. Uh, glad to see you're still going. You were great on Century, says Brian Hall. Century Radio, the biggest radio station outside of London. 5.4 million, I think, was the TSA. And, uh, and I had the largest figures. Incredible. And also, good night, Scotty, says Lorraine. Good night, Lorraine. Sleep well, Angel. Mwah! Fantastic stuff. Take care of yourself. Lovely to hear from you. And um, thank you to all of you, of course, 
So there we are. So all of you get a mwah. There we are. There's Wadge saying dinky doo. Wadge has been with us a long time. There's tremendous supporters. And we got calls from Sheffield tonight um, on um, on the YouTube pop up. We got calls from, uh, well, we've just had Washington on there. Fantastic stuff. And people can Skype us from Australia, I'm quite sure. So spread the word that uh, Scotty McClue can now take calls live on Facebook Live and we'll get down to having some good discussions. Um, I'll watch back as well, says Wadge. Do Wadge. Uh, are you still on Nation Radio? No, Scott, not on Nation Radio. They wanted to do um, love songs. Uh, so they replaced Scotty McClue with love songs. But uh, we had a wonderful 13 months on Nation Radio. So no complaints from me, I say. Um, so there we are. Um, what's Wadge saying? No. So there we are. What's no for, Wadge? What are you saying no for? Uh, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Get the numbers up. Can I already do another share? Share on the timeline. No, I want to share in a group. Aha! That's the stuff. There we go now. The group. And we'll put uh, Scotty McClure. That's the group to be sharing in. And just put live now. Wonderful. Well, I suppose you can see that, can't you? You can actually see that we're live now. There we are. But we'll put live now, folks, and see what happens there. And we'll get uh, the Scotty McClure group up. Good. Let everybody know what's happening, even at this stage in the game. Wonderful. So there we are, and that's us sharing that. Let everybody know what's happening. Lots of love to you, Scotty. Take care of you and the wee Doug. So there we are. Um, what do we got here? Sundays without your voice aren't the same. My fix mate, says uh, Pablo. Yes, but we'll get, we'll build all this. Good night. You can't kind of throw your granny off a bus, says Alan Brown. No, but you can throw your other granny off a bus. Fantastic. I can't give you the music because obviously it'll be copyright when we used to play that. It was in the radio stations and people would phone in for the song. Uh, when are you going to go live next, says Wadge. Uh, on Facebook or on YouTube, Wadge. I'd love a regular time so I can plan to watch, says Angel. Well, shall we just make it? Nine o'clock. I mean, is this a good time, nine o'clock on a Sunday evening? Or would you prefer eight o'clock on a Sunday evening? So there we are. Um, I was talking to the YouTubers earlier. They love perhaps a five o'clock pop up during weekdays and maybe seven or eight at the weekends. Uh, Facebook, right, Facebook Wadge. When would suit every day for a Scotty McClure pop-up live on Facebook just for you, dinky-doo? When would you say would be the best time? True, we miss your voice very much on Facebook, says Angel. Angel, that's a lovely thing to say. Thank you very much. Angel says eight. So should we make it eight o'clock on a Sunday evening. Would that suit everybody? It's up to you guys, because I want what's best for you. But it's great that we all get together. And now we're taking calls. Wadge says, Sunday at 8. Uh, Lorraine says, Alan loves you too, Scotty. Give him a shout out. Dinky do, Alan. And uh, great time, 9 p.m., says Brian. So 9, 8 or 9. Uh, do tell. Uh, yes, says John Duncan. Yes, what? Eight or nine? It's like when I used to shout to my dad, do you want chips? He'd go, yes, one or two. And I'd say, well, make up your mind. <laughs> I think it was just regular. We'd all catch on and turn up. Yes, well, maybe go what God said to Noah. Build your ark and the animals will come. So there you are. Not that I'm saying you guys are in any way a representative of the animals. I don't know, though. I, I think I'll be definitely coming back as an animal. And I'm planning to come back as one of my Labrador dogs because they have such a good life. So there we are. That's what I'm thinking about there. And now we're taking calls. Nine o'clock, says the lovely Susan Forrest in Lancashire. Sunday nights, 9 p.m., the big pop-up says Neil O'Gormley. Well, there we are, Neil. All right, we'll do the big pop-up. It looks like nine guys, but you all need to get back to me. So do tell. Yes, do tell. Uh, there we are. Right, 
I think we're absolutely out of time. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Good plan to watch instead of trying to catch law. We just want to see more and more of the banter. Build it and they will come, I say. Well, set your notifications. Um, go and subscribe to the Scotty McClure channel. Like all the videos. Set notifications. Tap the bell. And on here on Facebook Live, set your notifications. Let me know when Scotty McClure goes live. No, says John Duncan. Yes, we have to go. The song. <clears throat> goodbye everybody goodbye take care everybody as you go goodbye everybody a vita zeno reva and a cheerio have a gorgeous week guys thanks very much for watching thanks for joining in great fun spread the word tell 10 to tell 10 and we will all catch up as soon as. Until then, from me, Scotty McClue, dinky-doo.